our company, in fact, can deliver spacecraft, as we said, in each possible orbit. Uh, so we, we design and manufacture telecommunication satellite, Earth observation satellite, but our key uh, focus in Torino, where I work, is about uh, uh, looking for possible answer to the main scientific question. So we design and build a scientific satellite, so each satellite is a new one, and uh, human in space. Uh, we have the, uh, how can I say, responsibility uh, to design artificial habitats and infrastructure that can sustain people that live and work, uh, as we say, aloft. So for the time being, in orbit around our planet, 400 kilometers on board the space station. Well, the astronauts there, they in fact uh, live in, in many modules that uh, we built. Uh, they work in the Columbus Laboratory uh, with uh, Sinus, for example. We deliver all the logistics that are needed to these people. And so it makes a lot of sense for us to design the new habitats that will be needed to sustain exploration uh, further around, so Moon and Mars, just to start with. And so this is why I'm really glad to be here today, as I was last year, uh, to, how can I say, witness that is not just the big industry that is working uh, to this end, so for exploration uh, uh, needs, but uh, uh, in fact, the contribution starts from the young generation. Uh, the students uh, are heavily involved in uh, uh, designing uh, new means that will sustain our operations in space. Right now, we are heavily contributing to the exploration of Mars with the ExoMars mission. In fact, uh, our company is the leader uh, of a huge uh, team of people uh, that involve all the major aerospace companies in Europe. And so next year, July, uh, we will launch the second part of the ExoMars mission to the Red Planet uh, to deliver a rover that will drill uh, two meters under the surface looking for possible sign of life. The ambition is to know better Moon and Mars because we intend to start building their surface infrastructure where crew, where people can, can, uh, can develop and, and live. With regards to your question for the Moon, uh, I mentioned before that uh, we build habitat for the Inter International Space Station, then is a logical next step for us uh, to design new habitats to be used, as we say, in deep space, so in orbit around the Moon, on the lunar surface, and for the transfer spacecraft to Mars. So our modules will be perfectly outfitted to offer a better and more comfortable habitat environment for the crew. So stay tuned, we'll be there.